sister Alisa Naki girl out here in Tokyo, Japan with my good friend Taichi. Taichi desu. Today, I'm going to show you the most interesting place in Tokyo. Welcome to Japan. Welcome to Japan. Thank you, Taichi. So today, Taichi is going to take us around some really cool camera stores in Tokyo. I hope you enjoy. I'd always heard that Japan had a huge used camera market, though I never actually visited dedicated used camera stores. I mean, I'd visited places like Yodobashi Camera or Big Camera, but those are more like general electronics stores that also sold photographic equipment. I wanted to see some vintage and rare used cameras that I kept hearing people talk about. I I knew I was in for a real treat and was giddy with excitement. Our first stop was Kitamura Camera in Shinjuku. I can't tell you how far my jaw dropped when we first arrived. The store was in an entire building. It reminded me of Sammy's in LA and b and in New York, but bigger, more concentrated, and with way more stuff. I had a sudden urge to grab whoever that was around me and scream and shake that person back and forth and tell that person how happy and excited I was being there. Thank God I had some self-control. Kitamura had seven stories of camera goodies from the basement to the sixth floor. Each floor either provided different types of photographic services or sold different types of equipment from new and used cameras to parts and accessories. They even had a floor that sold junk cameras, probably for parts or decoration. My favorite floor was the sixth floor, specifically the vintage salon where all the Leica goodies were. As I entered the door into the salon, I was immediately surrounded by rows and rows of beautiful Leica cameras and extremely rare lenses and accessories. It's quite interesting how products are displayed here. They're placed so close to each other and definitely create that sense of abundance and overstimulation on my part. It was also a bit shocking to see the prices in yen as opposed to dollars that I'm used to. It made everything seem so expensive to me, which was probably a good thing. Behind this display wall was their ultra rare and high valued equipment that I had only heard of or seen online or in some magazines. You know, the items are super expensive when the price tag says ask or when the price isn't even listed. Anyway, we had tons of fun here looking around and trying out different cameras and lenses. We eventually left after about five hours. And yes, we spent most of that time on the sixth floor. Our next stop was Map Camera, also in Shinjuku. At this location, there was an actual Leica boutique store on the first floor. The basement floor is where all the expensive and rare cameras such as Leica, Hasselblad, and other vintage film cameras were. Our friend John from Tokyo Camera Style met up with us here. Other floors in the building carried brands such as Sony, Contax, Nikon, Fujifilm, Ricoh, Pentax, Canon, and more. On the top floor was their trade center where you could sell your used camera equipment to them. Our next location was super close by at the Chuko Camera Box or used camera box also in Shinjuku. This store was a small shop in the basement with cameras, parts and accessories filled to the brim. To be honest, I got a bit claustrophobic there as they had so much stuff everywhere. Every shelf was filled from top to bottom. You could even find cameras and parts and crates on the floor. So if you're patient enough to look through everything, I'm sure you could find lots of goodies in there. After a quick tour of the city and a delicious Japanese-style lunch, we arrived at our final store for the day, Lucky Camera. Lucky Camera is a small camera shop in Shinjuku that's also like a centric. <laughs> Look at the boys gawking at all the cameras on display. You can find mostly used cameras here. In typical Japanese fashion, all the displays in the store were completely filled with cameras and lenses that had signs and price tags all over them. There were also additional boxes and crates on the floor with broken cameras, filters, and parts. All in all, we had tons of fun not only checking out camera stores, but also understanding a bit more about Japanese culture through camera trading. We ended the adventurous day in Ueno Park checking out the Cherry Blossom Festival and street vendors.
Alrighty, you've been knocked up today and I'm really knocked out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.